This is the false ceiling sensor. It has these two springs on both the sides which will hold it plush with the ceiling. So only this much would be seen. It's same like the other sensors too but it's much neater. This on the other hand is so bulky. Uh, you put it in place of where you put these false ceiling lights. Like in a hole over here. The sensor's power consumption is 0.5 watts only so the power savings are really significant. Now coming to its circuit. It's very simple. Uh, your load is here. And I've taken it to be the white wire. So one white wire is going from here and one from the neutral. And it's going and coming to this bulb. And the neutral, the second one, I've taken this pink and it's coming to the socket on this neutral. So there are two wires actually coming from this, as you can see, the load one and the neutral for the power. And the other one is the live wire, which two have taken to be this yellow one, and it's coming over here. Uh, also, coming to its settings, over here you can actually adjust the time and the intensity at which you want it to switch on. I'll plug it in. You can also put this cover over here to keep it tidy. And the time I kept it 10 seconds that is for how much time the light should remain on and intensity I kept it full so even during daylight it will work uh, and I am going to face it like around here switch it on since see I, I walk close and it switches on I am going to uh, move away from the sensor like around 90 degrees Right now, since the sensor is on a reflective surface, it won't perform correctly. This is just for testing purposes. Okay, I think it's still detecting me. My fan is on. So because of that... Okay, and now I'll come back again in front of it. And it should on. Yeah, it switches on. It's not working properly because of... Uh, the gap between us, it's supposed to be around 3 meters, like uh, basically one floor high. Then it works perfect. I'll install it uh, in my lift and show it to you. Initially, I was planning on installing it from the top like this, but it's actually much more convenient to install it from inside the lift. Do switch off the MCB and UPS before working on the lift. You can even open up the switchboard to note down the color of the wires to the light switch. I pulled out the existing two false ceiling lights and took pictures of it to note down the wiring. Do note that the light connection in most lifts are in series. Over here there are two red wires and two black wires that's like two live and two neutral. So it's a series connection. The same wires they're giving power here and then they're coming to the other side. So I'll be putting the light here. And on this side, the sensor will come and that will decide whether to send power to the light or no. When there is motion. I come over here and I am going to pull it. We will see it move. What I am going to do, the sensor will go here and I will I'll remove this socket and directly attach to the mains. And the other wire which is coming over here, which is the load, I will replace it with uh, this false ceiling light. We'll remove the existing connection so that we can replace it for the sensor. Right now we've installed only the live wire. So you can see this is the main power wire which is going here. And the other one is for the load which I've labeled it. And it's coming to the other side and to the light. It has been done complete. Oh, here the live mains is going. And this is the live for the load. And over here the neutral for both the load and uh, power. This is what I explained at the starting of the video and the same thing has been done. Light switched on and I'll move away from the sensor. It switched off. I'll come back again front and it switches on. So it's working. Existing hole uh, was actually wrong size and I just now realized that. So I just put one of the springs inside, the other spring is still outside so that uh, right now I want to mainly adjust these settings 
and in the future too I'll be able to remove it if I put this to one it won't come out now because of my size issue the light is on time is put for 30 seconds and now again I'll just enter it and it switches on again it will switch off after 30 seconds are detecting no motion switched off again on this is another working sample at night right now the light is off and it switches on This is the instruction manual and its PDF link is in the description. Do read it carefully before installing the sensor. This sensor can be used for much more scenarios like you can put it in your stairways so that your light switches on only during the night and even to run your fan as soon as you enter the room etc. Once I got in a faulty sensor and it blew up. If this video gets a good response, I'll make a video on these bulbs too. These are motion sensor bulbs which directly plug into your socket and they have a 360 degree radar sensor and it switches on only during the night. So this too saves a lot of power.